What's going on, my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, and welcome back to another Pokemon Duel video, you guys. I know it's been a hot minute since we've had, like, Pokemon Duel content on the channel. Um, I don't know. I, I just really haven't really felt like uh, recording PD too much. Um, been getting a lot of bad rolls. Discourages me from playing the game. But you know how it goes. But um, I figured that we would try to get at least you know maybe like two or three pd videos in this week if not like a, a video for every single day um that's the goal that's what i'm reaching for um uh, i'm also testing something out trying some sonic forces background music hopefully this video doesn't get like taken down or flagged or like copyright striked or anything like that because i fucking love the sonic forces soundtrack let me know in the comment section if you guys play Sonic Forces and what uh, what your favorite song from the uh, soundtrack is but today what we got going on in Pokemon Duel in this game in this universe is we have a grass team and I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this team actually um, this is a Grovile into Mega Sceptile this is a Rowlet into a Decidueye because I finally got Decidueye um, being the first Alolan starter that I have the full evolutionary chain of. I have Litten and Incineroar, not Toracat. I have Poplio and Brione, but not uh, Primarina. But I finally got Decidueye um, in the... I think I got him in the, the New Year booster, uh, which is awesome. So I, we have a chain level on him. I got him up to level 5. Tapu Bulu is level 5. Um, Lunala is at uh, chain level 6 and is level 10. Um... I think that does kind of describe most of the changes, actually, um, on this deck. Uh, if again, if I if I showed this deck to you guys, I can't I can't remember. I can't keep up with every deck that I use. Um, let's go ahead, find ourselves a duel. If you guys are enjoying the Pokemon duel content here on the channel, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video as well as comment any goodies you might have for the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and check me out on the social media over to the left and in the description. The links for those will be down there below um we actually do have a bot because it's it like it's been like a day or something since i've actually played pd um so this does kind of let me uh just kind of ramble ramble on a bit um i'm also not too sure of the um i'm not too sure of the of the time like how long i want these duels to or these videos to last for this week um, just because I know that I'm on like a little bit of a time constraint in needing to do like um, the Diamond and Pearl versus with DHM, uh, the Showdown versus with DHM. Um, I'm actually thinking of kind of wanting to, because I love, like, I, I have like four or five mobile games that I play on my, uh, on my phone. Um, Sonic Forces Speed Battle is actually one of those. And, um, once I can, it, this is just like a general rough plan uh, or like idea. I'm not trying to make this a plan actually. Uh, I'm not right at the moment. Or I'm not gonna say. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not gonna say this is a plan right off the bat. But what I want to do is to maybe feature mobile games um, like once a week or something. Feature mobile games that I play, mobile games that uh, I have not come across just yet. Um, I actually noticed that, uh, Sacred Fire Negro, or Nick, he's been doing Nexamon, and it's so funny because, like, I wanted to do Nexamon on the channel, but then I started playing through the whole game, so it was, like, it, it was too late for me, but, um, just stuff like that, different, cool mobile games, um, on top of, uh, maybe some other games, I actually just got a PS4 last week, uh, my buddy Michael, who was here with me, um, with the New Year's opening, actually um is the one that that sold it to me so um big thanks to mike and i've been loving final fantasy 15 that's been like my life recently but um decidia nt is coming out there's an open beta so hopefully i can um i can download that and then try to make some comment content out of that um here on the channel maybe but i might want to stream it on twitch so i'm not too sure i haven't live streamed on twitch in a really long time but um, hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll get my shit together at some point and, and actually do this. But going into this duel, we do have like a pretty decent matchup. Oh, look at that Grovile. That's disgusting. He goes into Sceptile. Uh, let's see. Combuskin into Mega Blaziken. And then we have a Lunala that's at 7. Beats mine, that's at 6. Um, 
and this Mew. Oh my god. Honestly, like, I mean, everyone can use their their plates, or, I mean, their, their figures and level them up the way that they want to. Um, I think we're going to get a win out of this. I think we are actually going to get a, a win out of this. Because... Um, he has not done anything, and if that's the case, then we can try to run the timer. But every time that happens, every time I'm like, oh wow, the timer is on our side, whatever, it like, the rolls aren't on my side. That's, that's what the funny part ends up being. So, um, we will see. We will see. Um, but really in this deck, like, we have a lot of things that can, uh, guarantee or try to help guarantee Rowlet's Evolve, um, or Evolution. Same with Grovile. Um, I can pit the Grovile against Combuskin. Uh, Mew, if it doesn't land on the, the second respin, or the the respin of Leaf Blade, and then Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko doesn't even seem to have any chain levels, which is awesome. Ah, uh, look at the Zapdos. Nice and level 10, chain 10. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to win this one. It's going to be a... If it's not going to be a time-up win, then it's going to be a, a a DC win or something. Like, there's no way. What's this man doing? Scott! Hey, old Scott. Hey, old Mr. Pilgrim. Um, okay. All right. Um, I also got Tapu Bulu to level 5. I don't know if I said that, but Tapu Bulu is level 5, and I'm going to use that to max out, um, I'm going to use that to, to max out, I'm going to use my Karma Knight to max out Full Swing, because Full Swing is so fucking good. If you're able to, like, get a runner tossed three spaces away from where it is, and then it's on the other side of the field, like... Oh, see, but the problem with this deck is the fact that he has a Tapu Koko, and I have only a Zapdos. Um... But the main threats right now, before evolution happens, are, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just sing Grovile up. I wanna put some pressure on the field. Um, he can't surround me right here. He could, yep, easily go for an attack. Come on! Ah. Uh, okay. I mean, that was kind of foolish in hindsight, um, but hindsight's always 20-20. Um, should I go for the cheeky roll and try to... No, I shouldn't. Let's not try to make plays and moves and reads and shit. Let's just... Let's just do. Let's just do. How about that? Um... I'm gonna go ahead and max revive here. I do have... Um... I do have... A recycle. I can't believe this man spent half of his timer on the first turn. And then here we are playing this game out. Maybe. I mean, I definitely want to go for that that Grovile. That Grovile is a problem. Thing is, if he lands on, on Leaf Blade. Holy shit, okay. Alright. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Don't freak out yet. This is actually really scary. Although, Verizian does kind of handle... Verizian does kind of handle Blaziken. I can totally see uh, it going into Mega Blaziken here, um, or he'll try to, excuse me, um, I'm going to set Rally here. If he gets greedy, um, hopefully the dice will roll in my favor and we'll be able to 
land on that miss, that, that roost that turns into a miss. Um, or we can land on the Sucker Punch against Thunder Charge. We do have actually some pretty fucking good odds. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and handle this Zapdos. He's been a problem for way too long! But now he can just attack my Zapdos. Alright, that's our that's our sign. That's our sign. Nope. <laughs> it's like he does have a max revive and he doesn't. Pokemon Switch Turtle Jump and Gold Block alongside the the Blaze Knight. But now both of my Pokemon that can evolve are gone. Ooh, firing off Moon Guys beams left and right, making things really hectic on the uh, the battlefield here. But um, I can really, like, what I could probably benefit from doing with this deck is taking out Verizian, actually, because... Wait, 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 wait! No, sir. No, sir, Rebob. No, this can't be. This cannot be. Why didn't... The oversight is so real. The oversight is so real. Are you fucking... Insane. Insane. Like, whenever I use this deck, whenever I use this deck, I get shit rolls. Like, when I use the Mega Blaziken deck, things are fine. Things are great. But when I use fucking Grove Island Sceptile, fucking Rowlet into Decidueye, like, man, um, can't wait to see this video get demonetized. Uh, uh, Ooh, get a couple of gems. I am stacking up. Uh, hopefully, I can get another, um, another five. Uh, not sorry, ten pack draw um, before the. Or uh, hopefully, I can get enough for a ten pack draw before the next banner drops because Mega Mewtwo X and Y are coming, and I can't wait for that. Ooh, the second I see that Whimsicott, I'm like, Rallet, Rallet. Those dodges turning into miss, and then we can X attack or sorry, X speed. Yeah, that'll be really nice. Uh, that's a Mega Charizard, I think. Pretty sure that's a Mega Charizard. Uh. <laughs> yep. Indeedy. Yes, sir. Rebob. And I think... Actually, yeah, my my um, Lunala beats this Deoxys because it has to. It would have to be a 132 in order to to beat my Mon. So we'll put Verizian out in the hopes of landing on that Typhoon Slash or um, or the Grass Knot. This is where we get a Dartrix right here. This is where we get a Dartrix right here. Turn those into misses. We're evolving. I told you, the second I saw that Whimsicott, I was like, this thing is Rowlet food. Rowlet loves cotton. Rowlet loves cotton. <sighs> oh yeah, and my Rowlet's a... Uh, sorry, my Dartrix is a chain level up so now we got two leaf bladers which is awesome uh the septile actually speaking of leaf blade is gonna come out are we gonna land on the swinging throw no fuck me so i think Oh god. Bro, you can't... What's up with my Leaf Bladers and not getting the respin, bro? Come on!
Like, then again, I do not have a great matchup against a fucking Sceptile. Let's be real. I don't. Level 7 Sceptile. Is he gonna Hurdle Jump? Does he have, does he have Hurdle Jump? Wait a minute, is this Charizard Y? Yup. He can fly over, so... Um... Oh, this is tough. This is really tough. Um, he doesn't have Soar. And see, if I put, if I would have put Zapdos there, if I would have kept in mind the, the Pokemon Switch, then I would have put Zapdos in front of Charizard because I don't think that Charizard Y can fly over Mons with Soar. So, we gotta do a couple of defensive pullbacks. That's fine. Um... I need to get Dartrix to level 10, actually, now that I think about it. But let's go ahead and send him in front of this Heatran. Is he level 10? No, he's, he's level 4. I mean, he's level 4. He's not, he's not too strong yet. He's not the strongest Dartrix in all the land just yet. Um, Oh shit, yeah, so I can't I can't use Dartrix to go for Heatran. I'm glad he did that, but also I'm gonna have to pull back here because um, Because Charizard could just mega evolve anytime and But also we can just oh there goes my Dartrix there goes my fucking Dartrix. Oversight! 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 Everybody, like, if there's one thing that I can just, like, preach to you guys really quick. Also, let's talk about the fact that I still lost that last game because of bullshit. What did I tell you guys? Whenever the timer's on my side, I will lose. Oh god. Woo -hoo -hoo! Now, this is kind of bad. We did get, uh... Oh, yeah. Dartrix gets moved over to his. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Bye-bye. Okay, so now all we all we have to do. Oh wait, he has gold block though. He does have gold block, so um, I can see him gold blocking with Heatran. <sighs> Hell, I may even I may even go after Sceptile with Lunala. Oh, he gold blocks with Sceptile. Cool. What the fuck is with your Sceptile? You're, yeah, it's level 7, I get it, but mine's level 5. Mine is level 5, and it never, it, it's just always Leaf Blade. Just Leaf Blade, no respin. Alright, well, we have to try and knock something out. Thank you. Because we need to get our Dark Tricks back. No, you can't, you can't come up here, Z. I know it's wrong for me to deny you that, but at the same time... Oh, okay, I'll bring you up. Come here. Get up here. Come on. Do it. Do it. Go! Oh, my little, my little puppo. This is my little puppo, Z. Um, Deoxys is scaring me, but we will continue. I'm going to scoot up because I probably sound far as heck away because I am. Um, is he really going to go for it? 
Z. I, I try to move it out of the way of your head, and then you still... Okay, so all we need to do is land on Typhoon Slash or Grass Knot. Alright. Fuck it. Actually, if we can get the Sceptile burned, that's... I think that's best case scenario. Um... Yeah, honestly, I'll leave it at that because this way- HE LANDED ON ANOTHER RESPUN LEAF BLADE, dog. like... I'm really, like, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous here. Alright, Zapdos, just land on Roost. Just land on Roost. Okay, um, if anything, he moves Sableye to attack Lunala, which is at, he, that's literally his, his play. <sighs> oh, okay. Alright, alright. No quick attack. Yeah, B. So now he has to rely on his Sableye, which is a god. Uh... Michael has been building a Sableye deck, and um, it kind of inspires me to, to do the same, because... Ooh! Ooh, Lunala said, Lunala said, fuck Sableye! Ah! Ah! Ah, I didn't even get anything to evolve. I didn't get anything to evolve. It, well, the Rowlet, yeah, but... Like, I, I didn't get a Mega Sceptile, I didn't get a Decidueye. Look at the Rainbow Booster right there. Tight. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Um, well, I think with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video off here. Um, I would go for another duel, but uh, we're running at like 23, 24-ish minutes. So um, I think it, the, the next duel would drag us way above 30 minutes. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. And if you did, like the video, comment down below. Socials are to the left, but the links to them are in the description along with my Discord channel. Um, subscribe to the channel, this channel, Channel 4, the YouTube channel. If you guys are new, check out any other content by me. Um, it'll probably be coming up on the screen right here. Mainly, when I say other content, I mean mainly the Diamond and Pearl Versus. I try to I try to talk it up in the, in the Pokemon Duel videos, the main content on my channel, because a lot of you guys come here for po Pokemon Duel. So if I can... You know just make it known that you know we have other content here on the channel that you guys might enjoy like the banter between me and J dhm is awesome the uh the luck between me and dhm is awesome like i'm rolling around with a fucking arceus and a raikou and a ho-oh my man's is rolling around with like he's getting knocked out by ursa rings he's losing his nine tails it's really fun it's a really fun series you guys check it out um, but with all that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here and bounce you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace! <laughs>